Hey Ableton users, in this video I'm going to give you five reasons why using the Raven with Ableton will help you produce faster, more intuitively, and more creatively. Let's go. Number one is the Raven proprietary virtual multi-touch MIDI controller. I can simply scroll through my samples, find a sample I like, drag it to the drum rack, and then I just start playing. You can also use the MIDI controller for your instruments too. So I'll hit my space pad here, and then I can just start playing. Number two is plug-in control. Once you start tweaking plugins on the Raven, you'll never want to go back to the damn mouse, and I'll show you why. It's so easy to just reach out and grab my compressor ratio, my attack, my release, I can go to my OTT, change my amount, then I can load some third-party plugins and immediately start tweaking. I'll crank my highs, my high mids, take out some lows, increase my compression. It's just so much faster than this damn mouse. Number three is gestures. Using classic multi-touch gestures, I can navigate through Ableton far more intuitively. Let me show you. I can select this vocal here, then a three-finger drag down zooms in. Then I'll just select this passage, another three-finger drag down zooms in even further. Now I can select just this phrase, and I can rotate left to split it, and I can rotate right to deactivate it because that clip sucked. Then a three-finger drag to the left and up, and I'm back to my full session. Continuing with gestures, let's automate this vocal. Four fingers down selects my automation mode. Four fingers up selects my pencil tool. Now I can easily draw in my automation for this vocal section here. Now let's say I like that. Four fingers up to go back to the cursor. I'll select that, a three finger splay to copy, bring my cursor here, and then pinch to paste, pinch to paste. Number four are batch commands. I want you to think of batch commands like your own personal digital butler. Batch commands are single click buttons that execute up to a thousand key commands, menu selections, and mouse clicks. They allow you to perform extremely complicated tasks with ease. Let me show you. Okay, let's use some batch commands to comp the perfect vocal take. So I have all of my vocal takes on the screen. I'm gonna select all the secondary takes. I'm gonna hit the deactivate clip batch command button. I'll select my first phrase, and then I'll hit the audition take below. That's gonna scroll to the next track, activate it, and audition it. I can hit it again to go to the next take, and the next. And if I like this one, I hit the batch command called move to main, and that sends it right up to our main track, and I can go to our second phrase. Continuing with batch commands, with one single button, you can add your favorite plugin chains instantly. So I'll select my verse vocal, then I'll select my vocal chain button, and automatically for me, it adds my multi-band dynamics, my virtual mix rack, my de and my limiter. Number five is multi-touch faders. If you have a lot of tracks in Ableton, it can be really tedious to set levels with a single click mouse on these little triangles. But with the Raven mixer, you have a multi-touch mixer with 24 faders. Watch how fast and easy it is to set levels. I can even swipe solos and swipe mutes. I can tell you this, once you start mixing on the Raven mixer, you'll never want to go back to that mouse. So I hope you've enjoyed checking out some of the ways in which the Raven can revolutionize your Ableton workflow. So now call your Slate dealer and grab one because you will not regret it. Thanks for watching.